If your Fortnite gameplay feels laggy, unresponsive, or your PC just can't handle it, today I'm going to show you how I boosted my performance and got over 240 FPS on my slowest PC ever in Fortnite. I'll go step by step through all the tweaks I used to boost FPS, fix lag, and make Fortnite play like a high-end system, even on a low-end machine. So let's jump into the video. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description, and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to make Fortnite run better. If you are playing Fortnite on a low-end or budget PC, it is very important to make sure your computer always uses full power. To turn it off, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard at the same time. A small window will appear, and this is called the Run dialog. In that box, type this command gpedit.msc, and then press enter on your keyboard. A bigger window called Local Group Policy Editor will open, and this is where we can change hidden settings. On the left side of that window, click through these folders in the exact order. Computer Configuration greater than Administrative Templates greater than System. After that, scroll down and look for a folder called Power Management, then click on it. On the right hand side, you will see different options. Find the one called Power Throttling Settings and double click it to open a new box. Inside that box, look for the option called Turn Off Power Throttling and double click it too. Another smaller window will pop up. In that window, choose the option that says Enabled. This will fully turn off power throttling and let your CPU run at full speed all the time. This works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, so no matter which version you use, it will help. Once you select Enabled, click on Apply, then click OK, and close all the windows you opened. Now your CPU can use its full power without restrictions, which makes Fortnite run smoother and gives you higher FPS with less lag. Step 2. Make Fortnite use higher CPU priority for smoother gameplay. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. In this step, we will tell Windows to give Fortnite more attention and more power while it is running. This is called CPU priority. To do this, go to the folder called Fortnite Priority Manager inside your optimization pack. When you open that folder, you will see three different files. Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, and Fortnite High Priority. If your PC is low-end, double-click on Fortnite Normal Priority. If your PC is mid-range, double-click on Fortnite Medium Priority. If your PC is high-end, double-click on Fortnite High Priority. This matches the performance of your PC with the right setting. If you ever want to undo this and go back to the normal system default, just double-click on Fortnite Normal Priority again. After you double-click the correct file for your PC, a message will pop up asking if you want to allow changes. Click Yes to confirm. This setting is now saved into your system and will stay active. From now on, every time you launch Fortnite, your PC will automatically give the game the CPU priority you set, which gives Fortnite more power and much better performance with fewer stutters. Step 3. Unlock all CPU cores to boost Fortnite performance. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now we will make sure that your CPU uses all of its cores while you play Fortnite. This helps you get the best performance and highest FPS because your processor is not holding back any power. First, download and install a free tool called Park Control on your PC. After it installs, open the Park Control program so we can change the CPU settings directly. In the program, select the power plan called Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan makes sure your CPU is always running at full power without slowing down from power saving features. Now change these settings carefully. Set parking AC to 100% and turn it off so no CPU cores are parked while your PC is plugged into power. Set parking DC to 100% and turn it off so no cores are parked even when using battery. Set frequency scaling AC to 100% and turn it off so the CPU runs at max speed when plugged in. Set frequency scaling DC to 100% and turn it off so the CPU also runs at max speed on battery. After that, look for Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it is turned on. This lets your system save power when idle, but instantly give full power when Fortnite starts, so you get instant extra performance. Now open Windows Power Options from your Control Panel or Settings. Select the Bitsum Highest Performance Plan and set it as your active plan so these changes always stay. Double check that CPU parking and frequency scaling are both set to 100% for AC plugged in and DC battery to make sure the CPU always performs at maximum speed. Click Make Active, then click Apply to save. This will stay active even after restarting. Now your CPU is completely unlocked and ready to deliver top performance for Fortnite, even in long and intense matches. Step 4. Use NVIDIA Profile Inspector to make Fortnite faster on weak PCs. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. To make Fortnite run smoother and fix lag or stutter issues, we will use a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. 
This tool gives access to advanced graphics settings that are hidden in the normal NVIDIA control panel. First, open NVIDIA Profile Inspector on your computer. At the top of the program window, search for Fortnite in the drop-down list and select it. If you downloaded a configuration file from my Discord, load that file to apply all the settings instantly. If not, you can also do it manually. In the anti-aliasing section, find Transparency Super Sampling and set it to this, 0x Tetra 0 triple zero eight. After that, scroll down to the Texture Filtering section and make these changes. Turn off Driver Controlled LOD, set LOD, Bias DX to plus 3, and set LOD, Bias OGL to plus 3. These changes reduce small visual details like grass or water textures, but they make Fortnite run much smoother. Now set negative LOD, D bias to clamp, set texture filtering quality to high quality, and set power management mode to optimal performance. When you finish adjusting all these settings, click on apply changes at the top of the program. These tweaks are especially helpful for weak or old graphics cards because they improve FPS while still keeping Fortnite looking clear and playable. In this step, I'm going to show you a reliable tool that can help you get more stable ping while gaming. First, head over to the official Gear Up Booster website using the link in the description and download the tool. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once it's installed, open the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games installed on your PC. If you switch to the Games tab, you can also browse thousands of supported titles for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, Fortnite. Click the Boost button and Gear Up will begin optimizing your connection. It will also recommend the best server for you. Next, you'll be asked to choose a server region. For the best connection, select the nearest server to your location. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After that, you can close the window and move to the End tab, where you'll see a list of available servers in your chosen region. You can either pick the nearest one yourself or let Gear Up automatically select the best option. I suggest leaving it on automatic for the most stable results. Finally, close the setup window and launch your game directly from Gear Up Booster. This process helps reduce ping, improve stability, and make your overall gameplay experience smoother. Step 5. Boost GPU performance. Using MSI Utility for Fortnite, you can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. In this step, we will use a tool called MSI Utility V3 to improve how your graphics card, GPU, works. This will make your GPU respond faster and lower the input lag while you play Fortnite. Open the MSI Utility program, and you will see a list of all the hardware connected to your computer. First, find your dedicated GPU, for example, NVIDIA GeForce GTX or RTX. Tick the checkbox under the MSI column for your GPU, then change the interrupt priority setting to high. Next, find your integrated GPU, such as Intel UHD Graphics or AMD Vega Graphics. Tick the MSI checkbox for it too, and also set its interrupt priority to high. After you finish making these changes, click on Apply in the bottom right corner of the window, then close the program. This tweak will help reduce input delay and allow your graphics card to respond more quickly, which makes Fortnite feel smoother and gives you faster performance during gameplay. Step 6. Use ISLC tool to clean RAM and reduce Fortnite lag. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. Now we will use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, to manage your RAM and make Fortnite more responsive. Open the ISLC program, and at the very top, you will see your total system memory in megabytes. Take that number and divide it by 2. For example, if your total memory is 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000 into the box that says, list size is at least. If your memory is 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000, and so on. After this, check these boxes. Start ISLC minimized. Launch ISLC on user logon and enable custom timer resolution. Then set custom timer resolution to 0.50. For the polling rate, use 1000 if your PC is fast, or 10,000 if your PC is slower. Once this is done, click Stop, then click Start, and then click Purge Standby List. Leave ISLC running in the background while you play Fortnite. It will automatically clean your RAM and stop memory buildup, which reduces stutters, lag, and input delay during the game. Step 7. Make your keyboard faster using Filter Keys, Setter Tool. You can download all the files in one pack directly from my official website. I've added the safe link in the description for you. In this step, we will make your keyboard react faster by using a small program called Filter Keys Setter. This helps reduce keyboard input delay, which is very important in Fortnite where every millisecond matters. Open the Filter Keys Setter program, then change the following settings. Set Ignore Under to 0 milliseconds, set Repeat Delay to 130 milliseconds, and set Repeat Rate to 10 milliseconds. After that, tick the checkbox on the right side to enable filter keys. 
Once you have done this, click on the OK button to save your changes. These settings will make your keyboard respond much faster, which helps you build, edit, and react quickly in Fortnite battles without any unnecessary delays. Step 8. Turn on game mode and set graphics settings for Fortnite. In this final step, we will make a few changes in Windows settings to give Fortnite better performance. First, open your Windows settings and type game mode in the search bar. Open the game mode settings and make sure it is turned on. This makes Windows give priority to your game and reduces background activity from other programs. After that, go to graphics settings. Click browse and find your fortnite.exe file, which is the file used to start Fortnite. Add it to the list of apps. Once it is added, click on it, then click options and choose high performance. Then click save. This forces Fortnite to always run using the full power of your graphics card. With this, you will get better FPS, smoother gameplay, and less lag. If you carefully followed all of these steps one by one, Fortnite will now run with much higher FPS, lower lag, and much smoother gameplay. These tweaks are especially useful if you are using a low-end or slow PC.